Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is September 15th, 2019. This is my 30th episode about C Sharp programming for desktop application using Windows Presentation Foundation. In our previous episode, we learned about .NET assembly and common intermediate language. If you haven't watched my previous video, please double click this link and watch my previous video. Understanding common intermediate language can play a very important role for advanced .NET programming. In this episode, we will learn about private assembly, shared assembly, and global assembly cache. We will also learn about strongname tool SN.exe. For more information about SN or strongname tool, please double click this link. By reading this document, you can learn more about strong name. Also, we will use GACUTIL or GECUTIL. GECUTIL. I will pronounce it as GECUTIL. This global assembly cache tool. For more information, please read this document. I highly recommend you to read this book. Pro C Sharp 7 with .NET and .NET Core 8th edition. In this book, chapter 14, chapter 15, and chapter 16, building and configuring class libraries, type reflection, rate bounding, and attribute based programming. Also, in chapter 16, dynamic types and dynamic language runtime. And I will pronounce this tool Gekudel. 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 Without further ado, let's get started. Start Windows Explorer. Create a working folder. Private Shared Assembly. Double click this folder. Copy folder path. Start Visual Studio Code. Go to File, Open Folder, Face the Folder first, select Folder. Right click your command prompt, right click, Properties, Face the Folder first, click Apply, click OK. Click this button, Client App.cs, and click this button again my vector dot cs hit enter my vector cs in this file using system reflection assembly quote assembly version i say one point this is major zero minor zero field one, this is revision. Assembly, assembly, key file, my vector, key, SNK. This is key file, this is version of this assembly. I will create this as shared assembly. So, right click, right click run as administrator. Please remember you have to run as administrator. Here we will move to this folder, copy the folder path, cd, paste the folder path, hit enter, d. Now we are in this folder, sn, K is to create my vector key SNK. Hit enter. So the key file my vector key dot SNK is created. We are going to use this key file here. Namespace talk play fun. It should be public class vector. If we are going to access class vector outside of this module we need keyword public public double x k 
get set public toggle y get set public toggle z get set we created three properties public vector this is constructor public vector double x double y double z x x y y z z public override string to string return string format zero one two x y z so we created a class called vector i will disable it for the time being i disabled these things now in client app namespace talk play fun class program static void main vector b new vector one two three here i will declare using system console right line b equal zero b now in the command prompt we will build library my vector library like this csc t means target library my vector cs hit enter dir then my vector dll is created now we build client app csc client app dot cs hit enter sorry we have to provide reference r my vector dot dll hit enter now client app exe is created client app hit enter so our application this program runs successfully like this ildasm client app dot exe hit enter go to file dump click ok in the private shared assembly folder client app then click save then this il file is created double click it in this il file intermediate language file we have two assembly reference this is assembly extern ms core lib assembly extern my vector currently it has public key token ms core lib this is shared library in this case it does not have a public key token private assembly does not have a public key token shared assembly has public key token now in my vector cs now enable it we enable like this in the command prompt again dl dll now we deleted the dll file we build csc target library my vector dot cs hit enter so dll file is created now we rebuild csc r my vector dot dll client app dot cs hit enter sorry i have to close this file 
build once again. Now we built once again. Client app.exe. It runs successfully. IL DASM client app.exe. Hit enter. File dump. Okay. Here I will click this file again. Save. Now I close it. This file is now updated. It now has public key token. Now we can register my vector DLL. Now my vector.dll is a strong named shared library. We now register like this. GAC UTIL install my vector DLL hit enter. Assembly successfully added to the cache. Now DIR DL I delete DLL file. I deleted the DLL file, okay? In this folder, we do not have my vector DLL, but client app exe runs successfully because we registered my vector DLL as a shared assembly. If we want to uninstall, then we can do like this. Remove that DLL and it should be you uninstall hit enter now my vector like assembly is uninstalled dir we do not have a dll library so client app dot exe it does not work because we deleted shared library now let's rebuild my vector dot cs as a shared library i rebuild my vector as a shared library, hit enter, and my vector dot dll is created. IL DASM, my vector dot dll, hit enter. File, dump, click OK, my vector, click save. Then my vector.il file is created. I close it. If we open it in the assembly my vector public key section, it includes not only public key but also private key. Control V, I will drag and drop like this. We can compare client app IL my vector IL. In case of a client, public key token has only public key information. This is public key information. In case of my vector dot IL, it contains not only public key but also private key. I hope you understand this concept. Also, it has hash algorithm key and version. So Shared assembly has public key token, hash algorithm, key, and version number. Strong name is composed of public key, hash algorithm, and version number. I will upload complete source code to my website c -sharp .talk -play -fun com. By the time you watch this video, you can click this link and download complete source code. If you unzip the downloaded file, you can find complete source code. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.